Welcome everyone back to now our third global symposium of the Laszlo Institute of New Paradigm Research. This is day two of our third global symposium. The topic of this symposium is sentience and consciousness towards a new paradigm of exploration of what it means to be human. And truly in this symposium, we're exploring the question of how to human well and in what ways we can participate in the evolutionary adventure of the cosmos, both as individuals and uh, collectively and as part of the whole framing. So yesterday, the first day of the symposium uh, was dedicated to an exploration of sentience and consciousness uh, and the ways in which uh, we as humans can access the deeper dimensions of consciousness um, uh, from a religious uh, perspective. We looked at the major religions, as, as Jerzy did say, uh, only focusing on a few of them. There are being, uh, how many were there, Jerzy? 10,000 religions in the world today? Yes. And uh, we only selected eight, um, uh, seeking not to look at necessarily even representative religions, but just a sampling of this. The founder and president of the Laszlo Institute, Irvin Laszlo, uh, set the stage at the very beginning by exploring the ways in which consciousness truly is unitary and that there really is no division between an other form of, uh, of consciousness we could think of as sentience, as distinct from the underlying patterns of consciousness in the cosmos. And he proposed maybe we might think about sentience consciousness with a hyphen. Uh, the exploration truly that we began to look at yesterday was how we can access this ineffable flame, that aspect of consciousness, of the cosmos, of our own unfolding, which cannot be put into words, should not even perhaps be put into words, but is something that is sensed and known in the body. This is the sentience of our being. And so we heard um, from uh, a variety of different beautiful perspectives. We started off with uh, Fred Tao, uh, who uh, shared with us the perspective from Taoism. Then we heard from Hema Bias, who shared with us the perspective from Hinduism. Safi Kaskas uh, shared with us the views from Islam. And David Geffen shared with us by way of a video uh, his thoughts on this topic uh, from the perspective of Judaism. Yesterday being the Sabbath, um, he was not uh, able to participate live, but shared with us the video that he prepared for us. Then we heard in the second session uh, from, Christ from uh, Father Lawrence Freeman, the perspective from Christianity, from Zoltan Thayer, the Buddhist perspective, and then we shifted slightly to uh, faith-based perspectives, uh, the Baha'i faith from Elena Mus. Mustakova, and then the uh, perspective from a shamanic indigenous frame from Marty Spiegelman. And uh, so this brings us beautifully to today's session, where now today we are going to be exploring the evolution of sentience and consciousness and its implications for the future of humanity. Um, and today we have with us beautiful lineup of people for the first uh, interactive session where people are going to be uh, sharing their views and then afterwards moving to a panel. But first, we will start with uh, David Lorimer, uh, Anne Baring, Pavel Luksha, Jude Carvin, and Thomas Hulu. Um, so with that, as a basic overview, um, also a few housekeeping things we would ask, you are probably going to find that you will have been muted. <laughs> but um, if you need to say anything, please indicate it by at the bottom of your screen, you can in the reactions, you can raise your hand electronically and we'll pick up on that. But truly, uh, we will not be uh, engaging in interactions uh, until we move to both the Q&A and then beyond that to the breakout sessions at the end of the day. A final note about the breakout sessions. We have uh, made a slight change in the program the uh, session will end after the uh, speaker roundtable, uh, where we will include all the speakers from yesterday and from today in a conversation about this topic of the symposium. After that, uh, we will hear some summary and conclusions from Irvin Laszlo, and then a few wrap-up messages from my uh, co-director of Symposia, Dr. Jerzy Sabo, who is also the uh, executive director of the Laszlo Institute. 
Um, and then that will be kind of the formal closing of the symposium, but we will continue uh, with breakout sessions with our interaction. That is an optional participation uh, aspect of the symposium. We will continue uh, with that until the uh, scheduled end of the symposium. Um, we encourage you to stay because this will be a chance for us to truly interact with each other in breakout rooms and, and, uh, and really learn with and from each other as well. Uh, but that is going to be left as an optional participatory um, uh, offering. And finally, uh, you will see some things occasionally here in our chat area. Please feel free to share your ideas during the presentation in the chat. Um, this is a uh, free offering of the Laszlo Institute, our uh, symposia series. And it does, of course, uh, require a certain degree of expense on our behalf that we wish to give to the community. But if anyone would like to donate uh, to help support these programs, you will also find the donate uh, buttons uh, and the option to participate in the further flourishing of the Laszlo Institute offerings. And I think with that, I will pass it over to Jerzy. Uh, if there's anything I missed, please help me with that, Jerzy. And then we will move now uh, into the session itself.